Hey, everybody. What Two up? boys, one brain saw. I'm Chuck Beeson. Joel Norton. And today we are reacting to a little anti flag. Hate conquers all. Yeah. And I feel like I just heard something about good times rolling, and now I'm listening to Hate Conquers All, and I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to tell you. Fair enough. This is a, a comment request, though. So um, we dug out. Um, we're going to see, oh, my gosh, Vlogging Molly, Anti-Flag. And so we dug out some Anti-Flag requests out of the request list. They are out of order. It's the only time we're going to be unfair is when we're going to see a show. So we don't ruin the requests. Yeah. By hearing them live. But we got to make sure we enjoy ourselves, too. Yes. So, yeah, and it's more fun when you know the song. You're singing along with them, right? Absolutely. So uh, I know the song, though, already. Okay. So just to be open with you, but I've not seen the music video. All right. I am pretty sure I don't know this song. If you've heard it, you let me know, okay? You got it. Let's jump on in. Yeah. In the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when they protested once, they would not do it again so easily. They talk us all in the ashes of the fall with our backs against the wall. It's hard. I'm going to back it up a little bit. I really like this chorus, dude. It's catchy. This chorus it's a hits catchy hard as fuck, song, dude. dude. It's really good live. Uh, when dude. I saw them at Ride Fest, they, they played this one. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good-ass time. Shit. <laughs> yes. Exactly oh, what you're thinking. Shit. There was a big-ass circle pit to the song. That's going to be a blast. Yeah. And it's going to hurt. Just a little bit. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Hundred percent. And honestly, like thinking about it, flogging Molly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. These <laughs> these don't match up at all. That's what I was like, dude. We got to go to the show because this is a wild show. This is gonna be you great. You listen to this and you go to flogging Molly. You're like, what? <laughs> but ah, uh, it sounds like how? a fun show to me just because it's mix mix matched. Mitch mashed? Mitch mashed. <laughs> you want to fish her out? Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited for you, the uh, midpoint here for this line.
<laughs> I love this ending music. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness. All right. Hate conquers all. Yeah, that midpoint part where he's like, that makes us are fucking slaves. That hits no hard shit. live, dude. dude. Hard. Hard. I could see why. Yes. The same people that made us their fucking slaves <laughs> are now our saviors or something like that. Something along those lines, yeah. What do we got? Uh, yeah, the same masters who made us their fucking slaves are now our saviors. I'm so sick of needing saved. Never give in to sympathy, never give in to reality. No one can save us. Yes. And you know what? The audience swung back, and I thought it was very appropriate. Trump. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this whole album is just going out the Trump administration. This Jesus. This whole album. <laughs> pretty sure. This song hits hard as fuck, though. It does. It definitely does. I think it has a really good sound still. Oh, like, I think so, too. I, I really like the uh, the style and the delivery of it all. Mm-hmm. That's it just... That really slaps you a little bit. Agreed. It's like, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> nice. There's like a nice attitude just layered into it. Oh, yeah. But it has a very crisp flow and then, yeah, just very catchy at the same time. Oh, absolutely. So, Radiance. Run it. Um, oh, yeah, I heard it first. So oh, I'm going to go with a 7.2 on this one, and it's going. It's in a playlist. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with a 7 flat playlist. This was a total banger. Yeah, buddy. Like, it, just that flow. There's so many really, really nice things about it. There's not a lot of negative to say, but it also doesn't. It's not like, holy shit. Yeah, sure. But definitely very, very solid. It's a, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Guys, shout out to whoever dropped this in the comments. We appreciate you. We are two boys. And now I'm going to rate the F-bomb. We have one brain cell, and Chuck's time to rate F-bombs. Let me finish. <laughs> well, somebody got ahead of themselves there. <laughs> so, um, of course... The F bomb is in like the most dominant line in the song, yeah. and really, really hits you. Uh-huh. It, that that was that was less of a slap and more of a punch to the fucking throat. Yeah, punch to the gut almost more so. Yeah, it's just the way he said, "Make us their fucking slaves." Yeah, just, you're like, "Oh shit!" Uh, yeah, That's a good uh, F bomb right there. Well, holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need some more of that. <laughs> and this F bomb, it's so hard. That it's getting a nine. Just a flat nine on that one. Wow. That one felt perfect or damn near perfect. Agreed. That was right in that line. It was very nice. Really, really wonderful. Mm-hmm. And I love that F-bomb. Hell yeah. And now you can send it out. Two boys, one brain cell, Joel Norton, Charles Beeson. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Drop in the comments on who gets that brain cell. Until next time, peace out. Yeah.